Hello, Ben Rain here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Chippewa County here. And since last episode, I've finished planting all our fields. So all our fields here should be uh, planted here. We've got uh, whatever we got in all the fields here. We got oats and uh, we got wheat, barley, corn, and uh, soybeans. Uh, for some reason, though, I'm not quite sure why, everyone, but uh, this field here, the one, the big contour field, is not fully fertilized. I don't know why that is here, everyone. I'm not sure what uh, what happened with this field. That only caused it to be uh, partially fertilized as opposed to fully like all the rest of the fields here. Uh, I mean, the only difference with this field and uh, the rest, I think, was the uh, the planter type here, which, uh, yeah, it says it's full on liquid fertilizer, so I'm not sure what was up with that. Anyway, I suppose I better get this off the field here. Yeah, so yeah, Kenzie Planner seemed like it worked out pretty good, at least with a uh, course play. I didn't notice any issues with it. I mean, it, you know, typical course play there misses a little bit in the corners, but meh. On that, seemed like it worked out pretty good. So yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm just not sure what's up with the uh, fertilizer. If something... Yeah, I don't know, everyone. Not sure. Because this uh, field should have been fertilized pretty much the same as all the rest of the fields here. And uh, like I said, all the rest of the fields are fully fertilized. I'm not sure if I can just uh, put fertilizer straight on this here at this point, or I'm probably going to have to wait a growth stage, I'm guessing. At least I would assume, anyway. I'm not sure on that, but uh, anyway, this episode, everyone, we got grass that can be mowed, so I want to start on that here this episode. At least that's uh, what we're going to start on, anyway, hopefully. Uh, oh, well, actually start on. We're actually going to start by spraying some weeds here first. Then we're going to uh, go mow some grass, so yeah. We got uh, all of the uh, contours here between uh, these fields here. That should give us plenty of grass to get started. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe by next episode, maybe episode after that. Probably episode after that, everyone. Maybe we'll finally get ourselves some cows. Like I said, I'm, I'm thinking we'll probably start off with a good 100 head of cows here. So, uh, again, my idea when I started this series, everyone, was I was kind of bringing over what we had from Autumn Oaks over to this map here. I uh, don't plan on doing the pigs, though, so I'm probably going to just switch out. We'll maybe do, like, Actually, maybe we'll do like 200 head of cows or something like that instead of the pigs. Because we did have quite a few pigs that are on Autumn Oaks. Uh, there is, I think there's a pig facility. Yeah, that's by the other farm there. Uh, the other farm that's a little further down the road looks like that one has pigs. I'm not sure about sheep. I don't believe I've seen sheep on this particular one. Of course, that doesn't mean you can't do sheep. I mean, you just have to put a placeable down for them. But uh, I don't believe they're built into the map. Oh, what are you looking at? Tractor 63%, sowers 20%. That's not too bad. Looks like the uh, tanks get dirty. Oh, the frame. Okay, the frame is dirty as well. The boxes don't appear to get dirty. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. And let's see once here. Actually, I don't know if this uh, particular planner will uh, fit in here or not, but we'll find out. I suppose I could give it a bath before I put it away, couldn't I? Okay, yeah, we'll uh, we'll give it a bath here, Cork. Coming up, why not? Doesn't actually look that bad considering uh, just the tanks are dirty, and like I said, the frame is a little bit as well. And might as well give the tractor a quick bath while we're here as well. Okay, looks like that's clean. Good. Moving on. Let's see what's here. Oh, yeah, this uh, this tractor has a fairly decent-looking uh, engine in it as well, doesn't it? Okay, cool, cool. Oh, uh, there's a few scratches on it, though. Looks like this uh, tractor, looks like the model is just using a uh, generic dirt and wear texture from looks. Actually, maybe just... Uh, might just be using dirt, because I don't actually see any scratches on the tractor itself. Uh, except, you know, the toolbox there has some scratches. But yeah, the tractor itself, I'm not seeing any. Might just have a uh, generic dirt texture on it from the looks of it. Again, at least in uh, my modding experiences here so far, but there are some uh, generic dirt and wear textures out there. Uh, that, that's what I've been putting on the uh, mods I've done here so far. At least the uh, mods that need help anyway. Oh yeah, this is not going to fit through this door, I don't think. Don't think so. Unless the collisions are bad. Oh, whoa, just, okay, just fits. 
Nice. Not think that was going to fit. Oh, there's a door there, too. Okay. Eh, we better be over a little bit further here. And it should be... Well, let's see. Yeah, we might do some uh, planting here uh, in-game fall time. But other than that, yeah, we're probably done planting here for the year. So putting the planters away for the year about, maybe. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure... Uh, when some of these crops will ripen, if we'll be able to squeeze anything else in or not, I guess we'll uh, find out. I have heard with the uh, Midwest Geo, which is the uh, Geo I'm currently using here, we can do a little bit of double cropping, it sounds like. So we'll just have to uh, see once how that uh, goes here. Okay, let's get the uh, sprayer going here first a minute before we go any further. Uh, so farm one, field one, 14 meter spray. And start point is, where's the start point here? Clearly not here. You know, of course, why don't you just go find it? First waypoint drive course. I think it's down over there somewhere. Of course, but I should be able to find it from here, I would assume. Yeah, I think I see it there. And, of course, I did uh, switch out the sprayer here. We now have herbicide in the sprayer. That should kill the weeds. There are some spotty weeds here on this field. I believe that's something else uh, course play, or not course play, uh, seasons mod changes as well. Rather than just weeds throughout the entire field, now it's just uh, like spotty type weeds. So same thing with that field there. Looks like the rest of the fields are pretty good here at this point. I don't think we need to uh, worry about them. So let's grab a tractor here. You know what? Uh, Ford tractor. That seems like a good tractor to run the mower with. We haven't used this uh, tractor here for this uh, series here yet. Right, and the rear of this tractor just... Uh, wow. <laughs> just looks... I don't know. It doesn't quite look right. Is it just me, everyone? Is it not quite look right? Oh, that's right. We got that weeder there as well, don't we? Hmm. Gotta remember that. We should uh, put that to use at some point as well. Get like a nice uh, small tractor we can uh, run that with. Okay, let's get this uh, mower fired up here. Double check, make sure we're working. Is that actually, wait, is that hay? Really? Actually mowing straight up hay here? Okay. I knew uh, Seasons Mod, everyone changed how grass and hay worked. At least it looks like hay anyway. I, I could be wrong on that. Uh, I was expecting uh, this to produce grass, but okay. Come out just a little bit further here so we can see that a little better. There we go. I was thinking about uh, getting maybe another mower here as well. Maybe we can uh, set up the next uh, like contour over here and we can get uh, course play here to do one of these uh, contours. Of course, in the uh, future, I do plan on mowing our actual hay field that we've uh, made. But until that uh, field is ready, which I'm not sure how long that'll take, we'll have to uh, have to stick with mowing this here for now. Interesting how, like, right along the edge of the field there, it's actually not ready to be mowed. I'm not sure what's up with that. That's kind of interesting. Oh, this is a long contour yet, isn't it? Yeah, this will definitely take a while if we uh, mow this entire contour, which uh, I guess we probably will, unless it stops here at some point. Actually, you know what? It's somewhere in the middle of this field. I thought there was a nice, really grassy area, wasn't there? Mm, no, okay, maybe not. Nope. Oh, yeah, okay, it was the other, yeah, other side of the farm. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yep, okay, never mind. Not on this particular field here, I guess. And at least at this point here, I just have the uh, small idiot block uh, maker there. We'll be uh, making a few of those uh, bales here. 
Uh, and that should, as far as I know, hold our uh, cows over until we get some straw and actually, you know, mixed rations and all that stuff going there as well. And uh, like I said, I'm not entirely sure how that uh, feed grinder we have works. Uh, if, if it does work, then uh, we'll actually probably be needing corn and uh, soybeans and all that stuff as opposed to uh, maybe as much hay and grass. I'm assuming that's the idea behind that uh, mixer. Uh, okay, I keep calling it a mixer. Everyone, yes, a grinder. Assuming that's the idea behind it. Yeah, we come out at 13 miles an hour. That's a pretty decent speed here for a tow-behind mower. Not going to complain about that, though. Oh, a little closer to the field here. We don't need to be leaving that much grass behind. Not sure how well a uh, course play would actually handle mowing one of these uh, contours. But I'm thinking, everyone, we should uh, definitely see if we can uh, find out. Uh, we're going to have to manually create a uh, field boundary there because course play is not going to be able to automatically detect one just because it's not really technically a field here. I'm thinking what we'll do here. Once we get to this uh, back to the end here, maybe we'll uh, go ahead and uh, get that started here. We'll grab another mower of some sorts. Uh, grab another tractor there as well and have course play maybe uh, mow the next con the next contour over a pretty good one yeah it looks like it is I think at least looking at the map here not sure how closely that map actually lines up with the actual fields here but Okay, there we go. And like I said, let's go grab another mower here real quick. Oh, mowers. Where's the mowers? Oh, let's see what's here. What do we got for mowers? Not a whole lot. I mean, if we want to go uh, course play friendly, everyone, we should probably really get a mower like that. Oh, let's see what's here. Because, yeah, course play doesn't exactly appreciate mowers like this. Not exactly, though, that's more designed for the front of a tractor. I don't think we actually have any tractors that are front three-point. Uh, yeah, front three-points or front PTOs, for that matter. And we do have the force grit. Interesting. How much is the actual force grit itself? 105,000. Oh, okay. Maybe won't go that route then, everyone. Normally, this is like a real cheap mower you can purchase, but I guess not in this case. Uh, configuration, uh, ah, the brown configuration. Okay, green and white. Yeah, it doesn't really help it much still. <laughs> yeah, so, still looks like a four script. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. Uh, we, we, could, uh, we could definitely get that, possibly. Oh, yep, yeah, there's our mower, right. Okay, I think we're going back to the uh, toe behind mowers here, everyone. Oh, let's see, sir. we can just go with... Nah, we'll just go with the cheap one, I guess. We'll go with the New Holland. Why not? And then for that, because there's only a couple of tractors that pull that properly. Oh, let's see. Let's I think the 4020. Where's the 4020 at? There's the 630. Oh, is the 4020 back here? Oh, the 4020's back here yet. Okay. Hmm. What other tractors pull that? The 4440 pull that, 1586, Oliver, 8020, yeah, that's a little bit overkill. How about we try the uh, 4440 here? We'll see if we can find another tractor that'll uh, pull that mower. Again, when it comes to the uh, three-point here, I mean, there's some issues with the three-point in that mower on certain tractors. It just doesn't work. 
So... I don't know that it's the uh, mower's fault. I, I believe it's probably the tractor's fault, I'm assuming, though I'm not sure on that. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll run down to the shop here. We'll pick that uh, mower up. And uh, we'll read a few uh, comments here a moment. Uh, Norton was saying, looking good. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Raptor was saying, just to let you know, I actually did the 1586 mod. And I never put def in the XML. Uh, so if it's in there, you did not get my version. Well, I, I have no idea whose version there I got, uh, Raptor. No idea. All I know, and I haven't looked at uh, that particular tractor myself, but uh, typically when Coursepla gives that error message that uh, you know it needs to be filled before it starts planting, uh, if you see that error message, it's because the tractor has def, and of course you can't fill that def. So yeah, that, that's the problem. Now, even uh, a tractor like this, which I think, yeah, this tractor did work with a planter, didn't it? So this tractor probably doesn't have def. But, uh, you know, it seems like the problem is uh, mod authors, they borrow the XML from different mods, and then they don't take time to maybe go through it and make sure they, you know, update it properly, remove stuff that's not needed, add stuff that is needed. Uh, yeah, that, that type of thing. Oh, got a corn header up here yet, too. I need to pick up sometime. Okay, nope, self. E-attaching tools not allowed in this site. Uh, looks like it pivots properly. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's a good sign. It's not, uh, you know, rigid behind the tractor there and just, like, floating behind it. Uh, why I was saying, I love the videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Josh was saying that truck works fine with course play for me. That's interesting. Uh, very interesting that it works fine for you because obviously it did not work fine for me. It did not work fine at all. In fact, you know, caused the uh, game to crash there. So that's not cool. Not cool at all, in my opinion. And I know I'm probably not running the newest version of course play here at this point, but uh, it is a couple of weeks old. So it's not like I'm running a really old version. I guess the only question would be is if you have a different version of the truck than I do, maybe. Uh, maybe I have an older version of that truck or newer version or something. I, I don't know. I think these mowers are about the same size, if I remember correctly. The nice thing about this uh, new Holland here, it is still a fairly you know, decent-sized tow-behind mower. And, of course, uh, speaking of course play here, what do you think, course play? think you can handle this uh, contour? Just, uh, detach the mower here. We don't really need that back there while we're doing this. Get rid of that course. Start course recording. And we're going to do what we've done in the past here. We're just going to create a field boundary around this uh, grassy strip in here. I guess there's no need to get too close to the field, is there? Seeing as how this grass isn't growing right along here for some reason. Oh boy, I'm going to love to see what kind of a course play course, <laughs> course play comes up with this one. Now, course play likes to do uh, straight lines. And uh, yeah, that just, uh, I don't think that's going to work.
Okay, about halfway around here. We'll just go all the way to the back here, I guess. And uh, like I said, we'll see what's what uh, Course Play will come up with here. Hopefully Course Play can at least uh, mow some of it. Because otherwise, if I have to mow all of this here myself, everyone, it's going to take a while for me to mow it. Uh, you know, even the uh, contour we started there, it, it's going to take a while to mow that uh, contour. In fact, we'll probably be still working on mowing it there next episode. Once I finish it between episodes here, I kind of doubt it. Because like I said, it's probably going to take a while to mow that. was actually uh, debating seeing if we could get, like, uh, Follow Me to work with that as well, but I don't know if that'd be worth the trouble trying to set that up or not, especially with that uh, type of mower. And I know at least uh, so far, the uh, couple of times I've used Follow Me, it seems like it's a little glitchy here in 19 so far. Should probably check and see if there's a newer, updated version of it out yet. I know the uh, version I have at this point is uh, pretty old. Oh yeah, course play is going to love this field. I do mean love this field. Oh uh, yeah, speaking of this field as well, I, mean, I still need to figure out how I'm going to uh, plow these fields together here. Um, not sure how I'm going to do that. Just looking at this here, I'm, I'm probably going to put like these couple of strips here into one field. And then ideally, I'd like to split up that next section somehow into, uh, into two fields. I'm not sure how we're going to do that here yet. Oop. Eh, let's see. Can we stop here? Eh, we'll try it. Hopefully that'll be good. Hopefully it closed enough there for course plays liking. I left that uh, mower back a little further there, I guess. Okay, let's uh, save that as farm two, uh, grass two. Uh, if I do create a course by course, I'll call that the other one we're working on there, grass one, at least for now anyway. Let's go over to that course generation. Currently loaded course. Let's do narrow field, see what's what course play comes up with here. I think this mower was more like five and a half meters, wasn't it? We'll leave it at six, see once what that comes up with. Okay, currently loaded, generate course, narrow field. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, real interesting. No. Oh. So interesting, in fact, course play's not going to generate. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so interesting, in fact, course play's not even going to generate one for it, is it? <laughs> okay. I wonder if it's because I don't have those close enough. That would be annoying. Currently loaded course, narrow field. Up and down, generate course. Nope, everyone, it is not generating a course, is it? Okay, so either I don't have those close enough together. I'm not sure how close the start and stop points need to be. I, I've never had a problem with that before. Or course, but just in general, does not like this uh, strip and refuses to generate a course for it. Ah, uh, boy. And lands none. Mm, we could try that. Oh, there we go. No, I did generate the course, everyone. Okay. No headlands. That does not seem safe. Does not seem safe at all. Hmm. Guess it ain't gonna hurt. I mean, the other crops here aren't growing yet, right? I've got it. Course play. See what you what, what you can do. Oh, you know what? I don't think... If I remember correctly, course, but it doesn't know where to turn this on, does it? Farm 2. This is 6 meter mow. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yep, yep. Of course, I did start already. Right? Like I said, it doesn't know to turn it on. Oh, you know what? Uh, speaking of turning it on, we're going to have to get some offsets set up here because this mower doesn't work. Oh, will it work uh, straight behind it? Uh, if it will, I will actually leave it that way, everyone. I don't recall if this mower works straight behind or not. I mean, technically it should. You just wouldn't normally ever drive on the hay you're cutting if you can help it. Looks like it does. Cool. Okay, I will leave it that way. Like I said, I want to say the effort of uh, creating offsets and stuff, and at least with the, <laughs> the way this field is looking, I, I don't think we want any more complications than we already have here for that field, so. Okay, back to mowing the field we were starting on. I'm still curious if this is actually hay here or not, because... Yeah, that is that is interesting. Oh, come on now. It's slipping already. Uh, you probably can't turn around with that mower. Well, that's annoying. And here I thought we had everything set up and it was looking good. Watch where we're going here, otherwise uh, we're going to mess stuff ourselves. Okay, what's his problem here? What is his problem? Is he trying to back up with it? Yeah, it's probably his problem. Looks like he's probably trying to back up here because he should have no problem pulling forward from the looks of it at this point. Let's uh, see if we can tweak a few more options here. Uh, turning radius. Uh, maximum distance. Vehicle convoy. No, no, don't want any of those. I want... Where's my options here for uh, turn on field? Yeah, let's let's turn that off. We'll see if that helps here or not. And of course, I can just go ahead and make a big old turn here. Uh, like I said, hopefully this won't affect this field. I don't think it should, I don't think. Like I said, the crops are not grown yet. They were... Not sure what it would do if the crops are partly grown or not. I don't know. Uh, of course, but you, you seem to be a little off. The center of the line is over there. I mean, he doesn't have an offset somewhere, does he? Oh, he does. I'll just give you zero. No, of course, but don't, don't back up. Oh, my goodness. Uh, really, course play? Really? Eh, you know what? I'm just going to go back to mowing my field, everyone. Eh, just pretend I didn't see that. And we didn't see that. Oh, error message down there. Didn't, nope, didn't see that error message. Didn't see it. Yeah, I'm going to need a new plan there. A new plan. I wonder if a different tractor would make a difference. Not sure why course play is trying to back up that way anyway. That's, that's kind of annoying. I was hoping uh, turning off the turn on field option would actually make it do a, you know, like a wide circle type turn there, but apparently not. I need like a way to disable reversing there for mods that just uh, don't work properly when it comes to backing up. And yeah, like I said, everyone, this is going to uh, take a bit here to mow this field. Yeah, 
Anyway, everyone, looking at the time here, looks like it is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So on that note, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.